I wrote this on the 8th of November 2013, having seen a slideshow by a photographer showing his wife and him sitting on a step, and then from six months later, showing her and his journey in her battle with cancer. I've tried to write it from both perspectives. That fateful day. On that day, that fateful day, when you felt peculiar and we laughed it off as so often we did, not knowing or thinking or realizing too the implications of ignoring it for me and for you. Ever so subtly things began to change from my diet to my energy to breathing and thinking too and so we discussed what was best to do. Appointment made, visitation done, phone calls made, come in tomorrow at one. The news, the words we all fear, like dry food being swallowed, we could not hear. You have cancer and it has spread far and wide. The course of treatment the oncologist will with you decide. And off we trundled, positivity carried and bags aplenty. Still can't believe you get this when you're only just 20. Nine. Photographs taken, treatment started, by machinery and me to record now, every precious moment. Can't comprehend that we might one day be parted, watching it grip you, see your body torn and bent. Chemicals injected, tablets and pills galore, to this treatment I must make myself a whore. Enslaved in regime, locked in time, trying to smile without reason or rhyme. How thin I've become, and you're still at my side. If I dare look in the mirror, it seems I have already died. And still you come, day in, day out, camera at the ready, helping me to sit up with pillows to steady me. Friends and family all come and visit me. We laugh, smile and cry. Tell the stories we knew we could not once before tell. I need to get out of here before the death knell. And so to the sea, my other home we go. The warmth holds my frailty as I look out to sea, to see the horizon of you and me. The gentle waves lap my body and lift me. It feels as if I am floating out here on my own. Then I look to my right and to know that I am not alone. Ever present, you hold me and call me your own. Yet of time, we are aware how quickly it has flown. In bed most days now, but from time to time, I write of the pain and the treatment and how I feel just shite. Half my body weight gone, but trying still to smile. Should I hate you for seeing me like this and wish that you try it for a while? Suddenly in a room filled with family and friends, a huge fart blasts out of my tired body. No one moves or even looks my way, until, with silent laughter, my bed starts to sway, tears streaming down as laughter replaces frown, and so, like blazing saddles, my arse takes its course. But wind is all I have, not the methane of a horse. The laughter continues through the ward, up and down, you cuddle me in my bed now. The time is speeding by. We talk little now, but kiss and kiss and sigh. You hold on to my bones where I used to have a thigh. And so, my darling, you are gone. The bed is empty. The ivy trolley stands tall, forlorn. Each day to your graveside I sit, chat and pray. In the knowledge and belief I will see you, my love, 
another day. All rights reserved. Copyright Andre Reese Sheeran. Please feel free to share. Please subscribe.